Now, after having the basic UI for our app and setup of the Firebase Firestore database, our next step is to how to read data from the Firestore Firebase database in Flutter application. So we will populate our list view which contains the contacts of the company from the Firestore Firebase database. Now the first step in doing so is to go to the Google Firebase console. I will say fire console.firebase.google.com and from here you select your project. My project is phone directory. I will select the project. The next step is to add an app. I will click on add app. I can add an iOS app, an Android app, a web app, a Unity app or a Flutter app. So I will click on the Android. Now over here, I will give uh, the package name of the app. From where can I get it? I will go to the Android Studio and open the uh, Android directory and then click on the app directory and open the build.gradle file. Now inside the build.gradle file, you will see the application ID over here. I will copy it and paste it in the console.firebase.google.com. You can give uh, any nickname. For example, I will give it the name phone directory. Uh, this uh, debug signing certificate, that is SHA-1 certificate, is, it is optional, you, but you can also get it from the Android Studio. Uh, let me just skip it. I will click on the register app. Now the app is registered. The next step, step 2, is to download the Google Services JSON file. So I will click on this file and will download it. Now where I will download it, I will go to the uh, my, my project directory. My project directory is in Flutter apps and Flutter apps, the directory name is phone directory. And then I will go to the Android, then to the app and then I will save it. Here it is. So this is the second step. The third step is to add Firebase SDK. And how we will add it? The first one is to add these four lines, one, two, three, four, five lines in the build.gradle file. So from here you copy it and it is in the project uh, project build.grader. So you can copy it by clicking this icon and go to the Android Studio. Over here, this is the app build. I'm not going to make changes in the app build. I will go to the project build file and I will add all these lines over here. So follow the instructions given over here. Copy this and also copy this to the app, grid uh, app uh, gradle file. So I have added this. This is the next step. And uh, the third step is uh, you can have some changes in the uh, Firestore uh, authentication options. So click on the continue to console and here you have the phone directory app which is added to your uh, project. This is your file based project and your app has been added. Now the, there is one other small thing over here that when you go to the Firebase uh, database, 
you need to make some changes in the rules click on the rules and for the time being just uh, change it to the true change this false to the true so that everyone can have read and write access this is granting access to the firestore firebase database we will go into the details of all these rules sometime later but for the time being you just only convert this false to true and then click on the publish so these rules have been changed now everything on this side console.firebase.google.com has been finished over here the next step is to go into the app and see what how we can fetch the data which is available over here in this context list and we want to fetch these contexts these two contexts and put it in the list view in the flutter so we i will go to the android studio just close it and i will go to the main function now if you see over here this is our project this is the ui now this ui this is a list view my objective is to convert this list view or read data from the firebase in this list view so i will just delete all these uh, contexts over here and i will say i will create a list view over here now as i told you i am usually i usually have a, modu a modular approach for solving these problems so instead of writing the code over here i will write my own widget as a separate function and i will call this context list view context list view now this is a, a list view which has been written as a, as a widget over here now Uh, remember that before writing any code for fetching data from the firestore database you need to make some changes in the pub spec yaml file and these are the two changes that you have to make the first of all you have to add these two dependencies the first one is the firebase core dependency and the next one is the cloud firestore dependency so these two dependencies needs to be added and then when you go to the main dot dot file you have to import these two packages the first package is the firebase core package and the other one is the cloud firestore package now after importing these packages the next step is to initialize the firebase so you need to make some changes to the main function uh, make instead of making wired make it future wired main and this because we are using a wait over here you have to make it async so add these two lines uh, in in the main function initialize and ensure in the widgets flutter binding that ensure initialized add, add these two buttons now when we come over here the next step is to read the collections the the read to to read all these documents in this collection and place it in the list view so i will click on the list view over here context list view now over here it will this is the main code it is a widget contact list view and it is a future builder and in the future you say firebase dot initialize app and in the builder you return a stream builder with stream from db dot collection dot context so it over here it is taking from this collection and then the builders takes 
uh, snapshot from the from the collection and you have if there is no data then there will be a circular progress bar over here and whenever the data is available it will return a list view and the list view will have children as all the documents from this particular context from this particular collection so over here these the children are are established from the collection which is over here so this is the collection which is read into the program over here so i will return a card and the card has a list title let me just uh, have a list tile with title subtitle and trailing so i will read the fields from here here is the category here is the name and here is the cell number now let me run the program now you see here it is we have the basic layout over here we have mentioned the names of the fields name category cell number if you see over here is name category cell number we can we can write we can give it any field name over here now for example let me change this cell number to the position mm, i will say over here position now the position comes over here here it is here so in this way we have the firebase database data available in our list view in flutter in the next lecture i will tell you how to organize the data so that it matches our Uh, our ui so please uh, stay connected thank you very much